Today we are in Epcot and it's the ball, also known as the Epcot ball, also referred to as Spaceship Earth. So it's another day and another vlog in Epcot and it's Food and Wine Festival. But anyway guys, if you like this type of content, make sure you smash that like button and if you haven't clicked subscribe already, hit that subscribe button and let's go and explore Epcot. short so yeah we're not gonna get genie plus today we're just gonna see how much we can get on today without genie plus oh this is it who are we picking did i ever tell you the time when me and con came on this for the first ever time and he put it in french to wind us up <laughs> me first ever time on this was in french oh actually go on we'll put where you are oh sorry too late <laughs> we'll go all the way to manchester and ava the romans created horses Horse. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting you to go like, e really? <laughs> See if I was with Ben, he, <laughs> he would have been like, e really? E how did they make a horse? <laughs> e bless him, Ben. I'm only winding you up. He would, he, Ben wouldn't do that. <laughs> ben doesn't watch these videos anyway. I don't think. <laughs> Can never get over as well how real these look. Like, honestly, it, until you hear face to face, they look like real people. Well, obviously, I know they're like designed to look like real people, but like it looks like a person, it looks like an actor. It looks so crap on the camera. It really does. It looks proper rubbish. Does it look good on yours, Ava? Right, I'm getting a Sony. I kid you not, Ava's vlogging. Ava vlogs as well. She's got a ZV. What is it? A ZV? A ZV1. I've got the ZV E10 that I'd use for my main vlogging. But I'm using the Canon in low light and honestly, I, you guys can barely see it. Maybe I'll just use Ava's footage for this bit. Honestly, I know, honestly, it's always this bit that I just love about Spaceship Earth. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It just, it, honestly, the camera doesn't give it its true reflection. When you're here in person and you see it, You'll know what I mean, and obviously if, if you've been here before, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's just unreal. Start off Spaceship Earth every time. <laughs> every time. Do you know what? It's not even that. It's the pictures they use of me. I need to start looking actually at the camera rather than <laughs> rather than looking away because it always it's all I always look awful. Just a quick one as well. I don't know how well you can actually see me because I think the sun is like that way. But <laughs> we're not using Genie Plus today. The reason being is because the park is quite quiet. And obviously the whole thing about this series guys is how much can you do in autumn but also do you need Genie Plus every day and already I'm finding definitely not we definitely don't need Genie Plus today most of the rides are between 5 and 60 minutes we've just got off Spaceship Earth which was a 5 minute wait you definitely don't need Genie Plus today so the plan of action is we're actually going to go to the land because we're going to see if we can get a last minute dining reservation at Garden Grill we both really fancy Garden Grill and as some of you know Garden Grill is like my favourite restaurant in Walt Disney World I absolutely love it and um, Ava's just nearly uh, and Nelly being petrified because some of these birds, bless them, have just flew towards her and she's not the biggest fan of birds. <laughs> oh, and that sun as well on your face is just so nice. I don't know what I look like. I might like look like a bit like a ghost or something, but because uh, it literally is lighting my face up like mad, but it is really, really nice. If any of you are interested in like, what is it like in autumn in regards to weather, it's around about mid 20s to low 30s. It's nowhere near as hot as June. That's what I will say. I don't know how well you can see me. Yeah, you can still see me. It's nowhere near as hot as June. That's the main thing. Like June was like 39 degrees. Like heat. I have never, well, in fact we have experienced it because we had a heat wave in the UK, but it was just crazy hot. Um, here in June, really hot. So if you want to come when it's a bit cooler, autumn I highly recommend. It's still short t-shirt weather. And here we are, we're at Garden Grill. Guys, I want all your fingers and toes and whatever whatever else you can cross at home. Cross them, quick. Let's see if we can get this reservation. I have some good news. The cast members have given us a, a go back time for Garden Grill. We, uh, we've, our reservation is in an hour. Bless them, we were just like, we, I was literally saying, honestly, I'll wait as long as you need 
you know, we, we're, we're, we're absolutely fine and blessed. The manager was like, yeah, that's fine. So she's made our day. So thank you so much um, for giving us that reservation. We are so excited. Honestly, it's my favorite place. I've, um, I've been trying to book it so much on the app and it just, it's never available. So just take that, obviously, guys, as maybe a bit of advice for you. It's like you can never guarantee it. So if you can book it on the app, obviously book it, but there's no harm in coming here and just asking at the desk. If you're happy to wait and you're not bothered about what time you eat, you can always maybe get the reservation. So yeah. Next ride is Living With The Land, the boat ride. And here we go. We are gonna be on floor, floor, row five. And this is what's awesome about this is because this Living With The Land ride goes around the Garden Grill restaurant. So we'll actually be able to see the Garden Grill restaurant from this right. Create the rich Aww. soil that will one day become home to the American farm. This is honestly, I've said this loads, I would love, honestly, if they said to me, Dan, do you know what? Sell your house in Manchester and you can come and live in this house. I would happily live in it. Honestly, I would even just have one little room in the corner. You know, so like a little room in that little corner there. And I would literally smell, I would smell Garden Grill all day, every day as well, which would be, uh, which would be my sort of day. <laughs> Aww. And I would even have that creepy scarecrow in the garden as well. Of all the forces at work on the Oh, look at the little chicks. So yeah, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, guys, but this is the outdoor bit. And the, basically, they'll harvest, like, pineapples, breadfruit. Breadfruit? I don't know if I came across that for Guava. And yeah, you can see like some of it is actually in the Food and Wine Festival, which is which is just absolutely awesome. You've got the jackfruit, the vegetable fern. It is uh, it, it is really, really nice. I think I, I just said to Ava there, like I could happily work in here, even though I don't know anything about how to harvest anything, to be honest, but it would be lush to be in here. It's it's such a nice place, it's such a nice vibe. And I thought I would just quickly show you this actually, because this is on Ava's phone. See, I don't get text because I've got a UK number, but this is what the texts look like if you're in the States and you get a text for the restaurant. Hi, you okay? Hi. So uh, in the restaurant we've already seen Pluto walk around we've already seen Mickey we're in the we're in one of the bits of the world it's it's basically the cornfield I'll show you so yeah we're in the cornfield section so basically the best way to explain this is you're just gonna basically go around the the world basically so it's just gonna slowly go around then we'll go through apologies if the camera's really really struggling this camera is terrible in the low light oh in my corks have arrived look at the size of this glass it's awesome oh die of cork oh my god it's so nice i love it in this place i honestly do it's just so nice you know I honestly, I always feel just so fortunate to be here. And I just want to say again, guys, thank you so much for watching these vlogs. I know, like, you're probably thinking, I'm sure in the last series, I'm sure in the last series you, you ate here. I did. <laughs> it's not like my favourite restaurant. It really, really is. And soon we'll get to see characters. I've already had loads of pictures with the characters, but I might get like a selfie or two with with them. But. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just so happy to be here. And food has arrived as well. And oh my God, I highly recommend this butter. It is so good. Actually, I don't think it's butter. It's like some sort of cream, but it is so nice. Honestly, it's like, it's like clotted cream. It's bloody lovely. And then the salads here as well. But I don't know how well you can see me right now, but bread and then this clotted cream. Look at that. Is that focusing on you? Hang on, let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. Honestly, it's so good. I've just realized my uh, my diet things might be in the way. You might be able to see me a bit better. Mm. It is so nice. And it's like, yeah, we're all good. Amazing. But thank you. And it's just like, it's really soft and milky and yeah. Now we've got the salad. Now honestly, I know like these are probably thinking it's just a salad, but I don't know what they put on this. Firstly, a lot of what we're eating here is what we've just, oh my God, I've just had that weird feeling. I've just looked right and I was like, we're moving. You kind of like forget that you're on a moving platform. And that sounds silly because that's what Garden Grill is. It's, it's a move haven platform. But I actually forgot how fast we actually move. 
No, but yeah, like a lot of what you're eating in Garden Grill is what you see in Living With The Land. A lot of it is like harvest and made in Epcot and then you eat it nice and fresh. And I, and I know like not all of it is probably from down there, but you can taste the freshness, I think. Like it is definitely, the food is so fresh, it's so nice. This is not a sponsored video by the way, I'm not sponsored by Garden Grill. However though, I wouldn't mind a free meal <laughs> from Garden Grill because honestly, I could eat in this but a lifetime meal, a lifetime, oh my god, a lifetime unlimited access to Garden Grill. E God, I wouldn't even be able to fit on the plane. I literally, no I wouldn't be able to fit on the plane, they would have to like widen the doors for us just to get on. No honestly, I love Garden Grill, it really is amazing guys. Honestly, I get a lot of DMs online about like thoughts on Garden Grill and Buke, honestly, it is perfect. It's family style, so it's eat as much as you want and literally they will keep bringing food out for you. A bit like um, Ohana, they will just keep bringing food out for you and it really is really nice. It's, um, yeah. It's definitely, it, honestly, I'm not joking, it's my favourite dining restaurant, like, dining reservation you can do on, on Disney. That would have been good if I couldn't have done it this trip, because I know I won't be able to do it with Con next trip. I just came to see us, Pudos came as, just as the main courses came out, and honestly, he made this himself, I think. Yes, it is very, very nice. Really good. You're going to get the hat and everything? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mains have come, so we've got some like chicken, cornbread, loads of peas, some veg, mash, corn, and then we have some macaroni cheese over there. There's so much nice food here. Honestly, all of it is lovely. And again, it's family style, so don't feel afraid of like you eat all that and then you're like, can I have another pan? Honestly, the staff will come out and every time you're eating, they'll be like, do you want more? Do you want more? Honestly, they will like keep giving you more as much as you want. Obviously, it's still a park tea. You probably don't want to eat too much, but don't feel like afraid of asking for more portions. Like I always ask for more cornbread because guys, I love cornbread and we don't get it in the UK. Well, not where I've seen it. And if it is in the UK, please let me know in the comments because I'd be going to pick it up. But um, yeah, it's the cornbread in the, the uh, mashed potato for me. I just bloody love it. Right, macaroni cheese time. Now, honestly, I didn't eat a lot of the macaroni cheese last time because it was only one of the things that Liam was liking um, in there. Like, Liam loved most of it, but he loves macaroni cheese, so I left a lot of it for him. But I thought, you know what? Let's give it a go. I loved the, uh, the meal I had yesterday at Universal Studios. That was like macaroni cheese, and that was lovely. Oh. It's very sweet. It's not like the UK macaroni and cheese. It tastes very processed, but it's still really nice. Mm. Yeah, it tastes like like the macaroni and cheese with us. It's just like cheese and then pasta. This tastes like it's got like a lot of things in it. Let me know in the comments if you know what they put in it over here. It, it just tastes a lot sweeter here. I'm not sure. And Dale's came to say hello. Hi, Dale. And we got the name correct. It did take us a second, but we got it correct. Yeah, deal. You are. What's the deal? Oh, what's the deal? What do you mean? What's the deal? You like Dale? Oh, oh my God! Sorry, I'm a little bit slow. <laughs> oh, so what? What? Uh huh. Oh, a little bit of magic. Oh. Um, oh, all right, you know what? All oh, right, do you know what? I had a funny feeling. I thought, I thought you were going to rub your nose and he was going to turn into to chip. I, I know, I know, I, I'm very, sometimes I don't get the most simplest things. Guys, how awesome was that with Dale? It was so cool, wasn't it? I've got me cornbread. Mm. Oh my God. Cornbread is so good, you know. I can't get over this cornbread. It's sending us into a, a nervous spin. Mm. If you haven't tried the cornbread. 
get it honestly it's so good and honestly we are now stuffed and now the dessert has come we've been in there you know for nearly an hour and a half but we've just been chilling it's just been so nice just going through the world we've met loads of characters staff have been really nice oh, it's just been really really lovely I'm going to be honest as well I don't actually feel stuffed I'm full but I'm not like blow <laughs> I feel like, you know, like, I don't feel like I'm gonna explode like I did last night. Oh, it's awful. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, um, we should be fine. <laughs> For a long day in the park. But yeah, it's been really, really nice. Oh, and Mickey's just came to say hi. Oh, thank you, Mickey. I love you too. That's why I love Walt Disney World. Oh, you're coming for a kiss. Oh, lovely kiss. Thank you very much. Oh, I really appreciate it. Enjoy your day. We love you too. Oh, bless you. Thank you. See you soon. Right, just out from the meal. Oh, that was so good. That was so bloody good. Honestly, I love Garden Grill. Highly recommend. Honestly, it is really nice. And because Ava, because Ava is an employee of Disney, 20% discount. I could get used to that, Ava. That was very good. Um, but yeah, because she's an employee, she she has to use the discount herself. So it's very different how it works. It's not as easy as what it's like when, you know, I'm just going out and about. She has to use the discount herself and then I just bank transfer the money. But, um, but yeah, anyway, I thought I would show you this, the wait times, because it's a very quiet day to day in Epcot. So what are the wait times for the rides? So I think the highest is, is going to be Frozen Ever After. What's Frozen? 70, and then like... 70 minutes for Frozen? Yeah, but everything else is like 40 minutes or under, even Test Track. Oh, we could do Test Track. Yeah, yeah, Test Track is 40... Do you even like Test Track? I love Test Track. Oh, it's do you? It's in my top five, I think. Um, but you know what also is? Figment, which is always a walk-on. And, and I've never been on it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you've been to Epcot and haven't been to literally the Icons ride, so I'm making Dan ride it now. Right, let's go. <laughs> so here we go, journey into the imagination with Figment. And I'm being deadly serious, I've never done this ride, so let's see what this is like. Am I going to love it or hate it, guys? Let me know in the comments. Well, honestly, this is a first for my channel, first for me in real life. Uh, is it all time? I've never done it before, so let's see how we get on. This doesn't happen very often where like, I'm here and there's a new ride. Five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, come on, go do! Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. They're sight, sound, <laughs> smell, <laughs> touch, cookie cookie go, and taste. Yeah. Taste like chicken. Please, please, please. No, I don't want you out of my sight. Wow, that's visually stunning. That is cool. That's awesome. And oh my god, we've just got off. Figment. Yeah, it was good. It is my cup of tea, you know. It's my cup of tea. It's not something like... It's crazy that I've never been on that before. It is, it is a good ride. It's very clever, very beautiful there's a lot on there I enjoyed it right now the next plan is it's currently Epcot's food and wine festival so I don't plan on eating anything because I'm literally if I, if I eat anything else I'm just gonna literally explode like completely but could maybe have a cheeky drink maybe let's go and have a look around Epcot's food and wine festival and let's see what's on offer so here we go Epcot's Food and Wine Festival. Let's do this. Do you know what as well? I just love being in this park. You know with like the ballards behind? It's just so nice. Do you know, they're not like, I know like some of you guys have messaged me in the past saying like, you just wish they weren't there and like it was empty again because it was such a lovely view. It, it's, it makes it so worth it when the show's on on an evening because the show is literally visually stunning. Honestly, I used to say it was my favourite show, but I do kind of prefer Magic Kingdoms again. I literally will jump between the two. But the show here is not to be missed. It's really, really good. And I'm just looking at the China menu here. And oh my God, pan fried chicken dumplings, $5. The Mongolian beef bowl bun, $7.25. Noodles, $8.25. Oh, Ava, they do have beverages with... Um, oh no, it says with alcohol, actually. Uh, oh, look there. 
beverages that must be without alcohol passion fruit so bubble tea the bubble tea we actually have a bubble tea stand that's permanent in china oh really yeah so this may just be a different flavor but we usually do bubble tea most of the year as if they've got dasani bottled water on there <laughs> i can't believe that that's like putting a diet coke on do you know what i mean it's like it's meant to be the china pavilion yeah i'm really not a fan of dasani water you know yeah no neither i sorry disney please pick someone else to do the water <laughs> oh that's ridiculously cute oh my god how much are them 21.95 see that would be perfect for like our future like me for me and con and our child it's just with all the wires on though i'm not sure yeah, we'd definitely have to be older. Oh my god, so cute. How much are these ones, the bigger 50. ones? 50, right, plus tax. Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. So we're actually gonna be trying something else new for today, and this is the Reflections of China. And this is ideal because Ava obviously works here, and she um, she was telling me something. What, say that again, Ava. So basically, when they filmed this a long time ago, nobody had access to travel around the world. So if you weren't able to go to visit the Forbidden City, which is this is a film of, you would never see it in your lifetime. So what they did was they took a 360 camera, this was years and years ago, and they went around and they filmed the Forbidden City and it was the only time they ever let filming be done in it. And now, if you wanna see it, you should probably see it soon because this is timeless, forbidden like film and they're gonna be replacing it soon, they're gonna be updating it. That's awesome. So just to confirm, so this was something that happened in obviously China itself. Yes, it's going to be in the Forbidden City, which I believe is Beijing, but don't quote me on that. I'd have to check it. And then Epcot have created this, which is the city. Yeah. So what they did is they allowed a camera crew to go in and film it 360 vision. So it's in circle vision. It'll be all around you as if you were walking through it. Wow. See, guys, I would never have known. It's crazy that it spent all them years behind closed doors. I would love to go and visit it. Be awesome to see it in real life. Right, we're back in the land because we're going to do soaring. I said to Ava because we're, we're heading out the park now. There's no way I can leave Epcot without doing soaring. As much as it's not like one of my favourite rides, it's a must do ride on a day in Epcot. Here we go, guys. Oh my god. Oh, I love this ride, you know. Oh, that smell. It's like a fresh cut blown, that. Fre just freshly cut. The Eiffel Tower in real life is amazing. I highly recommend visiting. I just don't like the this. It's like so good. And then all these curves and the Yeah. Oh, there's Epcot. And that is us saying goodbye to Epcot for tonight. Honestly, we've had such an amazing day. It's been really, really nice here in Epcot and it's been a lovely quiet day. Obviously, we'll do some full reflection when we get back to the room, probably in the morning. Oh, look at that moon. You can actually see the moon just over them trees. It just has been an amazing day. So, yeah, I love Epcot, you know. I really, really do love Epcot. Good evening, guys, from the future. Now, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna keep this outro very short and sweet because I'm currently with family at the moment in England, editing this vlog. Realized I didn't film an ending when I was in Florida, so I was like, oh my God, right, I need to film a quick ending so I can get this up for you guys. Epcot was absolutely amazing. We had such an awesome day. Oh my God, Garden Grill, as always, such an amazing dining reservation, 10 out of 10. The park, honestly, on this day was so quiet. And again, honestly, in autumn, sometimes you need Genie Plus, sometimes you don't. 
Honestly, this was a perfect example of a day when you just don't need Genie Plus. The park was really, really quiet. It was actually a really, really good park day. And I found quite recently with Epcot that the park has been a lot more quieter than what I'm used to. Like, so, like for example, like when I was there in June, there was two days where it was quiet. When I was here on this trip, you'll see there was two days it was quiet. But then when I was there in March, it was really busy. So it's like kind of one of them things. It's like... Sometimes it's hit or miss with Epcot, but in autumn, I found Epcot to be really quiet. I would love to know how you found it in the comments. Anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you haven't clicked subscribe already, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you tune back into the next vlog because we are heading to Animal Kingdom, or we did head Animal Kingdom, and it is an amazing day. Again, I want to apologize for this awful lighting in my car in the middle of nowhere, filming and ending. I must look, I must look absolutely ridiculous. Um, I just want to say a huge thank you to my Patreon members. Patreon members get access to early vlogs and early content and things like that. Patreon members now have access to this entire series. So this series will run all the way up until basically the first week of December. Patreon members now should, by the time this goes on YouTube, Patreon members will have access to the full series and again i just want to say a huge thank you to my patreon members and again guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you next week for animal kingdom see you soon guys bye sorry about the lighting again i don't even know how i'm gonna do this without like my hand getting in the way of the light the only light i have i don't even know how well this is working or focusing anyway guys see you soon bye that is so awesome isn't it absolutely love this place. It's actually now that time for us to go towards our Genie Plus, but I thought I would just show you the wait times. The plan is, is we are actually going to go and ride Flight of Passage. Pumpkin Spice, we've been reunited. So the way I would usually have fish is with no head, no tail. Yeah, like that with like batter on in the middle.